What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with another Patreon request. This one is from Austin. Thank you again, my man, for the support and for the request. Uh, we had a little bit of a conversation on what he wanted me to react to because a lot of the things he wanted me to do I've already seen, sadly, you know, due to certain circumstances. So we ended up doing the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood openings. And now I obviously have seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but it has been a while since I've seen it. I do love the openings. They are fantastic. And maybe it's similar to me re-watching re the 86 opening or the Ranking of Kings opening in terms of maybe I'll pick up on a lot more things that I really didn't on my original run through. So again, thank you, Austin, for the support and the request. If you guys don't know, that is a tier over on the Patreon. You can request that I watch one non-show video a month over there. So make sure to go check that out and the other things because we do have fantastic reactions over there. I'm super excited to hop into these openings because I love FMAB. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. There's a reason it's up there on the my anime list in terms of top animes of all time in terms of everyone. The show is just so well-rounded. I'm talking too long. Let's hop into this. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, all the openings. I believe it's only five, one through five. Let's hop into this. Thank you again, Austin. Yep, already brings back memories. Unless something else happens, I'm almost positive number one is going to be my favorite anime opening. Especially for a starting opening. This is such a banger. I'm trying to get into the perspective of someone who's watching this for the first time and what they would think, you know? I love when the openings make the characters like look like they're singing it, you know? Oh. And it starts to break down, you know? Mustang, come on. Armstrong. Greed. My boys. And it gives you a little sneak peek into the fight. That's gonna, come on. Like, this opening is so fantastic. There's my favorite character, Scar, right there. Come on. Yeah, this song absolutely goes hard love that one different art style to this one i definitely recognize the song so far i'm actually really enjoying the art style that super 2d super like painted you know water paint i love that training because that's exactly like the training they always do in the show ed now as we're passing by the other <laughs> characters you know See, I don't remember the visuals of this opening at all. Al, Ed reflecting on their nighttime. Yep. See, this is my favorite part again. Ooh, I love the logo on the back of his. Yeah, see, I don't remember the visuals for two at all. Ooh, the sun shining through after a rainy day. It's a very dark time in their life. Introduction to the other characters, Ling. May, right? May Chen? Fu? I'm trying to, it's been so long, I'm trying to remember all their names. Oh yeah, this is when Hohenheim gets reintroduced, huh? Come on, bro. Alchemy is such a unique fighting power. Oh, I love it too, bro. I wish I could erase my memory of so many shows and rewatch them for the first time. These go so hard. Look at this, Bradley versus Ling and Fu. All oh, this is such a great all that well no Fu was the grandpa Lan Fan was the was the younger one I'm trying to, oh bro this is so good this is such a legendary show oh let it all out I remember this I thought this was an ending I didn't remember this being an opening these are all openings right oh these are all openings and endings that makes way more sense I don't mean to pause it but that makes way more sense as to why i don't remember the visuals of it should have been ending one now that makes more sense that was just opening two we heard this is ending two that makes a lot more sense so tell me why i didn't even realize we were doing all the endings too i'm a little lost i apologize guys but opening one ending one fantastic opening two this is ending two that's how he get into it fantastic so far yeah, very different in terms of the openings versus endings now that make a lot more sense, you know, a lot less a lot less action oriented animation, you know. A lot more focus on the characters, the symbolism, them brooding, you know. I like this one. Very reflective, you know, makes you think about life. So now with my newfound <laughs> smartness, it should be opening three. Ah, dealing with envy. I'm also getting like what time period we're at in the show with the openings, you know, and the ending. So, oh, um, Kimberly, right? Coming back or at least getting the flashbacks of him. 
Scar. I love when the... Anytime an anime opening breaks down like this part, you know, is always the best. I think if I remember correctly, I really like the last, like, literal the last note of this opening. I think it ends, like, really well. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Oh, my dore. I just remember that for some reason. <laughs> All right, ending three. This is Winry during her stage when she was, uh, after the baby was born and all that, when now she's working over here in the city, doing the auto mail, all that. Honestly, when you think about it, FMAB is one of the best endings in anime history. <laughs> like, in terms of a happy ending, shit makes me happy. Makes my soul happy just thinking about it. Especially Winry, like, look at that. I guarantee you she was just on the phone with Ed. You can tell just by the way she was reacting. Even though they're closed, she's working all night, see? The little details, a little visual storytelling, just tell you how kind of person she is. Hard worker, very passionate. I forgot what this uh, area was called. They were in like the Auto Mail Canyon. Everyone has Auto Mail around here. So this should be opening four. I will be honest, I don't remember this one at all so far. Song or visuals. All the characters that have come to us and joined us on this journey. Oh yeah, there's been a lot. Oh, Salim, Pride. I really don't remember this opening at all. At all. I don't know how. He's one of my favorites when they're up north at Armstrong's sister's place. Kimberly going crazy. Yep, with the whole the truth, laws of alchemy, all that. I don't remember that at all. I like that one. This one I definitely do remember. This one I remember for a very, very, very specific reason. Cause like I told, I don't think about, I, I don't know if I said it in this video, but I had a couple of friends who I put on the anime and I watched a little bit of their reaction to Full Metal Alchemist. I would catch an episode with them every here and there, you know? And my friend Garrett, this was by far his favorite ending. He would watch this ending and have to go to the next episode. Okay, look at all the chimeras. I know one of the chimeras is named Darius. Shouts out to him. This is a very action-oriented, like, upbeat, fast-paced ending compared to a lot of the endings in Full Metal so far, you know? See, right back to that. That's the, that's the shot he loves with that, like, guitar riff, you know? That's hilarious. That was a good one, though. Oh, I remember this opening because it was, like, a very dreary, sad opening. I actually think I really like this one. Yeah, look at this. Like, visuals, I love this opening, look at this. I think this opening specifically does a very good job at showing us the emotional weight and the gravity that's made, that's behind this, you know? Like, we're like, what, 40, 50 episodes in at this point? You know? This is a banger right here, we're really starting the fight? Yeah, this is, this is, okay. This is at peak, this is the start of peak Full Metal right here. That whole last day of Full Metal, Come on, look at that light shining through the cloud. Oh, with mom? Okay. I think so far it has to be a tie, not a tie, but I don't know, it's very close. Number one, and this one, opening one. See, <sighs> watching these openings just gives me fond memories because I just know, flawless is a term I use very rarely. But this show is damn near flawless. Like a lot of shows have certain points where you look back you know, and you're like, oh, you know, it was great, but at this point I could go without, you know, but from start to finish, this show is so good, you know? Look at uh, the dwarf in the flask. I think I'd be fine if I could just leave this flask, Hohenheim. Let me guys, let me know down below in the comments. Did you guys watch Full Metal and the dub or the sub? Full Metal is one of those rare shows where I highly recommend the dub, having seen most of the sub. And I've seen all of the dub multiple times. Just love it so much there's only five i thought there were six. Oh wow that was it that was the end of the show i'm so sad thank you again austin for that recommendation it was a stroll down memory lane with that one that those openings and en endings just really made me want to just erase my memory and go rewatch that show for the first time and i mean it gets a little weird it gets a little deep but i think that's the whole reason why one I, full metal is one of the reasons why my channel is here in the first place i don't know why i'm going off on this little tangent but if you guys don't know 
the biggest, those two main reactors when it came to the reasons why I started my YouTube channel. One of them was Blind Wave because I loved their analytical discussions and I wanted to be a part of some myself. So I thought maybe I'd meet some friends by doing this. And the second is Junk Putty. Now, a lot of you guys don't know him. He's a very, very, very OG YouTuber, OG reactor. His channel is deleted. Um, you can still find his brother's channel, Jaster Sama, out there somewhere if you guys look that up at all. But um, he was one of the oh, like he was the first anime reaction I think I ever, I ever saw. But I remember before his channel was deleted, I watched all of all. I watched Full Metal with him. It was before reactions were even like a really like a thing. Like he would just have. I, I can't even remember his setup, but I would just watch. I watched Full Metal with him, and to me, that was like watching it with a friend, and that's what really got me into reactions in the first place, you know? So Full Metal, Junk Putty specifically, but Full Metal specifically has a very special place in my heart, especially when it comes to the channel, the, the, the show itself, the journey, and this must have been like, I'm thinking back on it, me watching that with him probably 2014, 2015. So eight, seven years ago, which is crazy to think about. God damn. And here we are now. God damn, Austin, you brought me through memory lane. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the request. If you guys enjoyed, check out that Patreon. Leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.